Since I'm doing a video about Tati Beauty today, I was going to wear a nice black sweater and, you know, get the most Tati I could other than looking nothing like her. And I realized I don't own a black sweater. What kind of psycho doesn't own a black sweater? Me, apparently. Anyway. Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be using the new Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette, Volume 1. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I feel like the expectations for this palette are very high because whether you uh, like or don't like Tati, I don't think that you can say that she doesn't thoroughly review products and she reviews a lot of products. My expectations are pretty high for it. The sleeve is also the soft touch packaging, which is a nice touch. This doesn't say textured neutrals anywhere on it. It's, it just says volume one. I swear it said textured neutrals on the spine, but it says Tati Beauty. Am I wrong? Anyway, this is a very weighty palette. The mirror in here is massive. The mirror is massive. It's the size of the entire flap. The palette lays flat. I really appreciate that. The mirror is like really clear. I don't ever use the mirror in a palette. I just don't, like I can't hold a product and do my makeup. I'm just not that talented. But it does have a huge mirror so I mean I probably should like set this up and, but I'm not going to. And you've seen this a thousand times I'm sure. The row of mattes, sequin, metallic and then glitters in a very in you know monochromatic tones i really think the way this palette is laid out is so aesthetically pleasing it feels relaxing it doesn't feel chaotic i know that sounds really dumb but some of the palettes that i've seen lately the layout just seems very chaotic and this makes me just want to use this palette because it looks so like, relaxing and Mm. Mm. These are pressed glitters and they do have the warning that says they're not safe for use in the immediate eye area. But every swatch I've seen of these glitters, they don't look chunky. That's my issue. I'll use a glitter eyeshadow, but the chunky, giant chunks of glitter, I don't, I don't want those. I like how it's laid out because if you wanted, you could just use this column and be done. And use this column and be done. I like that. Um, and I know she said she had it arranged so that you could also use the rows like diagonally and everything's going to be very cohesive. I just think that a lot of thought went into that and I think that looks really nice. We're having family pictures taken tonight so I don't want to do anything like crazy. But I also know that I could wear like a little more and it'll be okay because it's a picture. We're going to get ready using this palette. I'm getting over a cold and I'm coughing a lot so hopefully this isn't super choppy. My nose is so red because I'm coughing. Oh my gosh. I like the simplicity of the names in this palette. There's nothing risque or inappropriate. It's just glitter, matte, sequin, matte, memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. I think that's interesting. So you just say, hey, I'm gonna use glitter aura, glitter poet, matte story, whatever. I think that's a really interesting way to do it. I appreciate that there's no like raunchy names in it, you know? Oh, I have my eyeshadow primer on. I'm gonna use my eyeshadow primer. Um, wow. Let me let me get situated here. Hold on. Okay, the eyeshadow primer is on. Let me zoom in. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do I wanna do pinks? Do I wanna do oranges? Do I wanna go? I don't think I wanna do full on like smoky today. We're gonna start with the most neutral row, the aura row. And I'm going to put the matte aura all over my lid. This is a clean brush. It doesn't look clean, but it is a clean brush. It's stained. I'm going to go into Matte Soothe uh, just for a transition color. I can't not do this. Now I'm going to go into Matte Ritual, the dark brown, just on the like, outer part of my um, 
I I like this brown, it's a little more cool toned. And, oh, I just wiped off everything that I had on it. Okay. And I like that. Go back into matte shoes. Now I'm going to use. This brush was also stained pink, it's clean up. I'm going to use. Sequin Dory. Maybe I should swatch it. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh my. I think I'm gonna go Sequin Poet actually. So we're just gonna put a little bit of that on there. Go and do the other eye. The thing with the sequin shades is they have this a little bit of this um, like a shimmer and extra interest in them, but they kind of perform like mattes. At least this one is. You can't see a ton of that in there. The eyes are two different sizes, so it always looks very. This one is less hooded than this one. Or something, I don't know. So I have to like, make them uneven to make them look even. And my daughter's eyes are the exact same way. <sighs> Sorry, kid. <laughs> We're gonna go in with Metallic Poet. I can use my finger because that's how I typically apply shades like this. I guess I should have left a little empty lid space. Oh no, that's really pretty. I love this color, this, the Poet color scheme. I, I love that color. Tatty or not, I think that this is a beautiful, beautiful color. I guess I should have used Matte Poet instead of Aura and Ritual and Soothe. <laughs> but I wasn't thinking. I'm not trying to. Um, I'm gonna take this first brush that I used and go back into Soothe and just add like a little more, or Matte Soothe, I'm sorry. And then kind of blend this a little bit and I'm going to, to actually take a completely completely clean brush a brand new one and go into matte aura and do the same thing but like even higher I feel very chatty today because I am you know kind of congested apologize for that but what are you gonna do? I think that these colors blend really well together. They don't look muddy or patchy, so that's nice. All right, now I'm gonna use a glitter, but I am gonna use a glitter glue because I don't want my eyes to get cut. So uh, this is the Too Faced glitter glue. I'm gonna put that right on the inner. I'm just Um, and I'm going to use the, like is it weird to use that one? Maybe I'll use both. We're going to put um, Aura on the outside. And then, no, we're going to put Poet on the outside and then Aura on the inner part. There is a little bit of fallout. The fallout is coming from up here because I didn't really put glitter glue up there. And it's sort of, you know, my finger sort of pushed a little bit of it on there. But it's brushing away. It will say that I used a little brush for applying my glitter glue to the other eye. And I definitely like how it looks better on that eye. So I, I did go back and like, and add a little more to this eye and try to, you know, make it look even as you would. 
I right now I'm gonna add a little bit of Poet on this brush, matte Poet, um, and I just want to add. I don't want to cover any of the glitter, but I kind of want to. Whoa! I just barely touched that in there. I don't want to cover the glitter, but I want to, you know, blend a little more. There is a little bit of kick up at these. I, I don't really think like Fallout is that big of a deal. Um, I always do my eyes first, and it's not Fallout on my face. It's a little bit of kick up in the pan. To me, that's just not that big of an issue. Just so I can say that I used something from every row. There's a little bit of glitter fallout on my face. I'm gonna take a tiny little brush and go into matte memory, just the tiniest little bit, just to darken up this outer part of my eye, the outer V, I guess you would call it. Why I said it so way. I literally just did this in the, the tiniest bit in the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my face makeup on because it's all the same and stuff that was exciting. And I'll be the color's too orange, but it's okay. I don't really feel like changing it. I'm gonna take a little bit of sequin poet and draw that under or you know, drag that on my lower lash line. Just a little. Oh my gosh, it's so pigmented though. That was too much. I put foundation on because we are taking pictures and I, my skin looks, you know, kind of gross right now, so. I'm wearing the Pure, what are you called? Where did I go? The Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie. This was my foundation and concealer. Okay, so that completes this look. Also, can we point, I would like to point out that I used nine eyeshadows today. That's got to be a record. I really like how this turned out. I think the matte shades and the sequin shades, they blended into each other very nicely. They weren't patchy. They don't look muddy. The glitter so far is staying in place. I did use a glitter glue, um, and I cannot feel glitter on my eyes at all. It doesn't feel heavy or chunky. love the color of this Poet uh, column. I think it is so beautiful. I know that none of these colors are maybe necessarily unique it's not um, it's not that i don't have colors like this but they're performing really well and for some reason the the tone of poet is really complimentary my hair is ridiculous let's oh my gosh it's also still wet because it takes four years to dry if it would stay like tousled and textured that would be amazing but it doesn't that. Oh, let's see. Yeah. So far, I, I'm really pleased with it. Obviously, this is the first time I've used it, so I can't say. Oh my gosh, yes, I love everything in here, but the shades that I used, I didn't have any issues with it. And I'm pretty excited. I quite like how this turned out. I love this color. It makes my eyes look super green, which I'm always looking for, because otherwise they're kind of just like muddy looking. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do you have this palette? Are you going to get this palette? What are your thoughts? Would you like to see more looks with this palette? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.